This series is the As an Adult series. I wanted to kind of take you on a little joyride into my brain, basically, in today's video. At least chanting like oh. weird words. There's like three words that can help. Hello everybody. We are currently in Jerusalem. Kind of so crazy. The lighting is terrible. We just left this closed just because it's so hot and like we want to keep it colder. But I'm putting some pants on. I meant <laughs> I'm putting some other pants on really fast. Okay, we're good. I actually want to show you my fit. These are linen pants that I got from uh, or H&M. Target or H&M. So cute. They bought some great like linen pants lately. And then my shirt, which is from Shein. Funniest thing that I do, I always, whenever we're traveling, not even traveling, whenever we're out in public, I will, every single time, I see an outfit that like, I really like. Like, or every time there's like a group of girls, I love looking at their outfits and seeing what they wear, how they pair things together because it kind of, it basically gives me inspo for how I want my outfits to be. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that and that and that. I would really love to try doing that or stuff like that. Anyways, I have a really hard time. I tend to make these expectations in myself, in how a day is gonna go. You know, you know how you like plan out your day. You just make this list of how things will be, how it'll flow so perfectly and and then it comes to that and nine out of ten times we'll say it doesn't really work out it usually ends up kind of not going the way you wanted but I feel like in the end it ends up better it ends up exactly how it needed to be and it's like so much better and everyone's usually like oh yeah never mind like that was actually great um, it needed to be that way so I'm the type of person that it, that does this too where I I really like to plan things out, articulate it, just make it super perfect, just this beautiful, perfect masterpiece, you know? And then it comes down to the day, and I'm like, oh, this isn't working, this isn't working, and all that stuff. I'm really trying to work on that on myself. I just have a hard time staying positive when things aren't going exactly the way that I want them to. And now, I'm not trying to say that in like a selfish way, like people aren't doing things I want. It's more so just like me not living up to the expectation that I had. I had a really hard time staying positive today. One, because yesterday was a rough day. So I guess yesterday I had a hard time staying positive, but it's just been a rough last two days. Today was actually a lot better. However, I started my period. So, and it was one of those really bad periods where like I'm just super in pain. So basically what I'm trying to say is I'm having a hard time staying positive and I wanted to just film this, show you guys that like I struggle t sometimes too. Actually a lot of times. Honestly, I don't think a single week goes by where I don't have like a meltdown. <laughs> Something that obviously really helps me whenever I get frustrated is taking care of myself because then I'll feel kind of like more of a confidence boost. Um, I like to do my uh, skincare routine. That's actually, like I literally just did that without even realizing it in myself. I'm trying to learn to save my money and to not buy so many things, but I bought a bunch of candy while we were here. So, whoops. We actually had to buy a, a skirt today because we were going on some special like temple ground style things. <laughs> Okay, so um, I am wearing my sunglasses inside. I am actually washing some of my whites right now and it is so bright outside, right? Like very bright. Oh, she is so cute that I'm actually gonna put my sunglasses on and I'm going to grab the stuff that is outside. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was funny, but anywho. <laughs> Now I can take the sunglasses off. I think I've told you guys this multiple times when I get kind of just in a mood, I really like to clean. So we're gonna do some cleaning because it looks disgusting. <laughs> good to go. Things are still kind of dirty, but at least my area, kind of my working space is good 
and ready to go. I feel so much better. In times like this, when I kind of still have like things that I could be doing, but I am still more on top of the game, I like to kind of reward myself, you know? It basically just keeps me more motivated to keep going and do more work. So I've basically organized everything. A lot of the videos and things are kind of slowing down. They're getting a little less like not so many things. It's good to not be working all the time and I'm really trying to learn to not become a workaholic and always be working and like prioritize work. Cause yes, work is great, but I think that it's also really good for me to take a minute to myself, you know what I mean? Okay, this is something I realized. It's really hard for people that are YouTubers or own their own business slash like job, whatever, because their work hours are whenever they want it to be, per se. Um, like if you work like a PT practice, like obviously you're kind of stuck to some kind of hours, sort of. Like if we just worked certain hours of the day, you wouldn't see half the time, half the vlogs that we make. And so it's a little hard. You kind of really have to give yourself those breaks and that's what I'm trying to learn at a younger age because I do see my parents who are super hard workers. They're such hard workers, I think that sometimes they don't know like when to take breaks. They've been so much better in the last few years, like since I've been at college. I'm basically just trying to say this because like I feel bad for them, right? I am trying to just not be such a workaholic and like really be able to work and then take breaks. That's what I'm working on trying to do. And also trying to learn to be okay with how things are, right? Because I work so, 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 so hard to make things perfect, to make them so that they do really well. But I need to like realize that like there comes a certain point where like you can't go much further than that. You know what I mean? That's that, that's where we're at. Now that I'm like doing this, I'm realizing and remembering all these different other things that I'm supposed to be doing. Ugh. says her foot goes what? We are pausing our show to go get some food with the rest of the cousins. So Talon is stealing. Oh, <laughs> you didn't have to show the camera. Talon is stealing that. And she's stealing my shoes. You you look so cute in them. Dang it. <laughs> out of the country, the grind never stops. So I brought my computer with me, as you guys obviously saw in the earlier clips, and I have been sending in videos, still working, like shifting footage and stuff, filming obviously, but I'm also still doing tutoring. I will admit, it's been really rocky. I had a tutoring lesson yesterday and then kind of cried afterwards. The tears were for other things too, but it was rough. I definitely wasn't understanding anything I was saying. I was kind of just guessing because my brain was completely empty. That goes to show when you don't practice and when you aren't actively like working on it, you can definitely move back a couple steps. And I moved back maybe five. We're basically relearning English at the moment because I have to learn present tense, past tense, something that was called like Presidente tense or something? Preterite. Does someone want to tell me what preterite tense is? And we both back at it. Yeah.
I don't know, oh gosh, if that was even like a cool transition, but it's the morning time, it's breakfast time, time to leave. Oh. So I went to breakfast and everyone was at breakfast when I got there. And then right as I sat down for breakfast, they all left me. It's okay though, everyone ate breakfast. How many people can fit in an elevator? Actually, more like, how many people can you fit in a bus? Because we've got 28, so it gets chaotic, but it's fun. And we're off again. I had to run up to the hotel twice, or not the hotel, our room twice, because first time I forgot tampons, because the girl needs her tampons because she's on her period. Not exciting. And then second, I had to go get my sunglasses because it's so bright, as you can tell. I already got my steps in, and now we're walking even more, but it's okay. We're going to have a good day. We made it onto our bus. It is so hot, but it's okay. We're handling it. My stomach is still hurting, which is kind of annoying. I'm so sweaty. I know, right? My pants are like hurt. Okay, after we have a good view of the city. So, walking a ton and like trying to like everything we're trying to do is kind of hard because I'm geeky, so is she, and it's wonderful, but you know, I was thinking about it, this is like our one time here, and I think I can like handle and pull through and be strong with my period and stuff, you know, but I'm just trying to make every single moment count because this is a cool once in a lifetime opportunity, and so we're just enjoying it, you know? Just trying to be positive, you know? This is like a moment where I'm actually like putting forth the action and the effort into what I've like told you guys this whole time, right? Like, oh, just try to like be positive, see the good in things. And now this is what we're doing. We're seeing the good, right, Talon? Right. the bus and it was hot but that's okay it's cooling down oh, it's so much colder up here we're looking at the dome of the rock look at this beautiful skyline I hurt so bad my uterus is having a fit. We love it. But the view is good. <laughs> Stuff like this is how how it is for them. So you know you just gotta experience it. Oh, I am so dead. I just wanna lay in bed and just sleep here forever. Well guys, that was our day. It was quite hectic, but super, super fun. We got to see a ton of really cool things and I really tried to just soak in everything here in the Holy Land as much as I could. A very, very different culture and just place in general. Definitely was hard being on my period and just like being super hot, having so many kids, you know, we're walking all day, which can be 
really exhausting and like you can get very negative from that all the time you know what I mean I really love to just try to really learn from everything you know what I mean like try to keep growing and become more of an adult and just be like okay I'm in this situation what is the more mature what's the better option to go with you know so that I can just keep growing I'm obviously not like kicking out all the fun right like I'm still having fun and being goofy and things like that but anyways it was super fun I'm pretty proud of myself because I stayed very positive so yeah I'm gonna go hang out with Talon now and we're staying in the hotel for the next long long time oh.